Okay, so we're on to Leo. I'm using the beautiful Rebellion deck. Um, like I just told Aries, because um, Aries had a little bit of a while. I, I'm doing some crazy ass readings tonight, basically is what it comes down to. I don't know if it's the energy or what, but I just wanted to mention that I am drinking Blue Lotus tea. I don't think you can see that. Um, tastes delightful, just to let you know, but I'm, I haven't been using it very long. It's, I'm not like, you know, very experienced in it. I do like to try different teas and supplements and stuff, but it's supposed to help sleep quality and it's also supposed to have like really good, like, um, I don't know, dreaming, you know, astral type, you know, stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll update if it's like some amazing thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But I was like, are these flower petals sending some sort of energy? Because these readings are wild tonight. So Leo, let's see what's going on. What's going on, Leo, sun, moon, and rising? That's funny. I just saw um, Kinky Tarot pop up and she's got those Leo vibes. So that's ironic. That happens all the time. I, I'm just going to I'm just going to over talk on this Leo video just to let you know. I was doing Taurus today. A Taurus texted me. I when I do um, Aquarius, I always have an Aquarius else walk in or text me. I like it is so freaking crazy how the universe works. It really is. It's, it's really it's cool. It's cosmic. I do see somebody's healing from a heartbreak, somebody that they had to move on from. Um, they didn't really want to. Somebody may have even gotten custody of a child. Yeah, there's some sort of rejection that happened. There was just no growth there. The, yeah, a relationship, a divorce, a relationship coming to an end, something of that nature, okay? I feel like it was... I hate to tell you this, but I feel like it was needed. I do feel like it was needed. I feel like, you know, even though you feel really defeated, you're gonna see a lot of progress. You're gonna see a slow progress, but you're gonna see a lot of progress within yourself, within your life. Um, for whatever reason, I'm seeing somebody is British. Take it as it resonates. I like it. When I do readings at night, which is usually when I do my private readings, I don't usually do my tarot readings at night. I get weird shit. I will admit it. Like I got blankets in the last one. So, you know. Um, similar to another reading, I do see the number seven being relevant to your reading as well. I don't remember who else got the number seven, but it may, could be your sun, moon and rising. Um, I feel like you're spending some time in your thoughts, in your feelings. Um, I feel like you're trying to decide, somebody's trying to decide if they should move, but the rest of you, I feel like is trying to decide um, really like what's worth your time at this point. Um, if you are looking to, yeah, if you are looking to move, I don't think you're actually going to do it. Um, but for those of you that are not looking to move, uh, I, if you had travel plans, I do, do see those coming to a halt. Um, I do feel like they're going to be changed suddenly and you're not going to, um, you know, necessarily know what to do. We do have the three of wands here. Um, I feel like, again, travel plans get changed. What do I do now? Or, or, or get completely stopped or like a move gets stopped. What do I do now? Where, where do I go from here? Um, if you are going through anything um, in the judicial system, I don't like it. I don't think it's going to pan out the way you want it to. I feel like you might even get like kind of screwed over. Um, I feel like you are going through a, a period of insecurities right now where you used to be a very fu like fiery, passionate, interesting um, person. And you're still that person, but you're really kind of like stuck. You're like, you're heartbroken, really, right? You're trying to heal from something. You might not even be heartbroken, like, you know, missing the situation, but heartbroken, like, just like, I can't believe I have to do this all over again. I feel that way all the time, you know, um, being a divorcee, going, I can't believe I have to do this all over again. Like, what the hell? I didn't want to do this again, you know? <laughs> but shit happens. 
Oh my goodness. I do see some sort of wish being granted for you. Again, with the sevens. Seven is like seven days, seven weeks. The number seven could be a birthday, you know, things of that nature. Um, and here comes somebody new. Right before things change, okay? Right before things change, I feel like you are going to meet somebody. It does not have to be romantic. This could be work-related. This could be a friendship. Um, this would be somebody, I don't believe they have a family or children. But take it as it resonates. They could. Um, they could be, if they do have children, they could be just kind of stuck in a rut. There, there's no real growth. This person would be like very communicative. That's how you'll know it's them. A good speaker. Um, a little like... Um, uh, distant um, when they speak definitely not you they wouldn't give you like praise or affirmations things of that nature it would be a slow moving situation and um, I don't believe either one of you honestly would want anything else, not long term or it to lead to anything like marriage. Okay. I think the both of you are kind of like done with that sort of shit. Again, if, if you're a young person watching this, take it as it resonates. This could be just somebody meet for now. Okay. I do see somebody talking. Um, they're going to be mentioning something that they're not telling you, but you're going to need to hear. You will find out through the grapevine about it, okay? Um, I feel like it's a brunette, but take that as it resonates as well. Uh, the color red is also really important. For some reason, it's very, very important. Emotions are strong here. Somebody has some emotions for you. This is a completely different person. They, I feel like they might drunk text you. They might drunk call you. They might, this could be just a friend or whatever. It doesn't have to be romantic. Keep that in mind. Although this does feel a little bit romantic. I feel like they hesitated telling you for a really long time. And now they're trying to figure out how to come back in and tell you. Let's get some more um, information for Leo, please, with a new deck. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. This person, if it's not somebody admitting their emotions for you, it could be like your sibling, your mother, your uh, best friend calling you up and being like, I don't tell you enough how important you are to me. You know, that sort of situation. I do see that happening. That also might be where the tea gets spilled, you know, where they're like, you know, somebody was talking shit about you and don't worry, I'm here to tell you all about it. So that's also positive. Again, we have justice in reverse once again. If you're going through a divorce, I'm just going to warn you right now. I don't like it. I don't. Do not like it. Um, if you are not going through a divorce and somebody's just wronged you badly in that relationship, unfortunately, I feel like they're going to get the upper hand, okay? There is some sort of situation where, ooh, be careful. I see a fling happening with a past person as well. I do. I see a passionate, maybe not wise decision, just let you know, with the fool here. Um, could be a Virgo. Or somebody that's been keeping to themselves for a long time, like maybe somebody you run into from high school or somebody you ran into from a past job, and you guys just are like, hmm, whatever, and you end up in the sack, okay? I definitely see that happening. I've uh, been trying not to use word definitely, but yes, I, I see that happening. Yeah, I don't like to, oh, I, for, there are, there is a, so many Leos out here, I feel like going through a divorce or a separation, okay? I feel like I am channeling for you guys, okay? I really, really do. We keep getting marriage here. We keep getting somebody taking money from you. Okay, so for those of you that are in a court situation, going through a divorce, I feel like you're going to be taken advantage. I don't want to use advantage. Uh, I feel like you're going to be taken to the ringer. <laughs> okay, I do. I don't like to tell you that, but I do. I think it's going to suck. I really do. No celebration. I do. 
I'm sorry. I hate, ugh. But for those of you that are not going through an actual divorce, but are going through some sort of um, business separation, romantic situ separ uh, separation, um, roommate, something like that, you're going to um, basically get screwed over. For sure. I feel it's it's been now said twice. So um, I guess this is a warning deck for you. Okay. So anyway, I hope this helps.